hello guys and welcome to today's video um it's been highly requested for a nighttime routine so here it is to start unwinding for the night we always do bath time the kids love bath bombs so i'm really excited to be collabing with daisy ensigns for today's video um the boys were obsessed with the bath bombs since you do get a little fun surprise in all of the bath bombs um, they smell amazing and they were really fun to play with. The nice thing about it is it's enjoyable for the kids to play with the bath bomb. As a parent, it's nice knowing that the bath bombs are made with natural ingredients. Um, it does have sea salt, sunflower seed oil, coconut oil, and shea butter. So it's also hydrating for their perfect little skin as well. Kids had so much fun. They love bath bombs. Um, what's really cool about these bath bombs is that you do get a little toy within each bath bomb as well. So not only do they get to have fun in the bath, but once they are out of the bath, they have another new toy to play with. I'll leave a link down below in the description box for you guys to pick up some of your own. So after bath, I usually will start dinner. Um, I know some people like to do bath time after dinner, to be honest with you. After dinner, I'm just so tired. So we do baths before dinner. Um, so here, I'm just going to grill up some burgers and hot dogs. I got the jalapeno and mozzarella burgers. Oh my God, they were so delicious. So me and Cameron had that and the kids had some turkey hot dogs. And that is what we had for dinner. Super low key and one of my favorite to do is just grill up some burgers and hot dogs and call it a night. I try really hard to have us all always sit at the table and eat dinner as a family. That Cameron's schedule is a little bit more flexible. We're actually able to eat dinner every night as a family and I love it. Like it's one of my favorites is just to sit down all together and eat dinner. It's definitely hard sometimes, especially with my youngest. He kind of wants to roam around more and I try really hard to keep him to stay seated, but sometimes he just does his own thing and that's just <laughs> what it is sometimes. And you know, some days are just better than others, but I love to have dinner as a family because it's, you know, I feel like at the end of the day, you get to sit down and talk to each other and it's just, it's, it's one of my favorites. I don't know. Do you guys eat dinner as a family or do you guys eat at different times? What do you guys do? After dinner, the boys will put their plates away and then Cameron will typically help me clean up after dinner. Um, depending on the day, usually he does dishes and I clean up everything else, but it really just depends on the day, teamwork, right? Um, but I'm always the one who cooks dinner, so he usually washes dishes, um, but sometimes I just get really impatient and I have to do it right away, so I'll just do it myself. And yeah, so we'll clean up from dinner. The kids will usually either have tablet time or we'll snuggle up in my bed and watch a movie. The kids love movie nights in mommy's bed and I'll usually just cuddle them for a little bit. 
Um, it's usually like the last hour before bed. Kind of just helps like unwind and relax. Um, sometimes while they're having this quiet time, Cameron and I will alternate on showers so that way we're always like with them um, and kind of getting like our nighttime snuggles. We will go upstairs and read a book and I always tell them I will only read one book and it ends up being like four to five and that's just what it is but I mean I love it. We're currently doing a thousand books before kindergarten program with the library so we do try to read to them every night. Um, you know some days are better than others but I cherish the moments of reading to them every night. So usually when Cameron comes up, he starts tickling the kids and getting them all like hyped up and everything and I always tell him to stop, but that's just what it is. He usually is always messing with me whenever I am putting Landon to sleep on the top bunk and it's it's just literally so typical. Um, but yeah, so we are just saying goodnight to our boys and then we will be going to bed. Typically. Once we do put the kids to sleep, we are literally so old, we will just either go on, camera will either go on Xbox or watch a show, a movie, and then I will just get in bed and I will read a book. And that's just basically what we do. So that is our nighttime routine. It's a basic nighttime routine. It's it. Some things change depending on the day, but the most part, this is what we do every night.